What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel only if you want to. But look, my beautiful people, we got this 15 most dangerous beaches in the world. Uh-huh. You feel me? Uh see my I ain't really look, man. I go to the beach, but I don't get in the water and stuff because you know what I'm saying? Like we supposed to just be walking on land. We ain't really supposed to be in the ocean. That's why people be getting snatched up by sharks. I don't even like big fish. You feel me? So that just explains everything. Like, I'm not going snorkeling. I'm not doing none of that stuff that you deem romantic because that's that's just not where I want to be. But uh, let me know in the comments down below if you actually go in waist deep. Not me. But uh, let's get into this video. Let's get this video right here to like 2,000 likes. Appreciate y'all. Let's get it. Chilled out and relaxing places. But sadly, that is not always the case. Some beaches are more trouble than they're worth. Oh, hell no. These are the most dangerous beaches in the world. <laughs> Number 15 Sunset Beach in St. Martin. A huge warning sign seems to have gone unread if the swarms of people populating a St. Martin beach are anything to go by. The beach is within spitting distance of the airport and proves quite the vantage point for sightseers when planes come in to land or depart. I'm cool. I'm cool. But that's not all. According to experts, the jet blast from these aircraft can cause severe physical harm, resulting in extreme bodily injury and or death. Although this warning is certainly unsettling, many have ignored its presence and continue to enjoy the sights and sounds of Sunset Beach with many others. In fact, there are a host of people who flock to the beach just to see the planes arriving. Look, man, look, I'm being real with you. Look, I don't see no black people out there because we ain't playing that shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, we ain't on this beach. The number that of ain't us. Clips or anything to go by, and it is a phenomenal sight. It might be considered one of the most dangerous beaches in the world, but the people are keen to check it out. Many can be found studying a chalkboard with airline arrivals information on it and patiently waiting for the planes to come into land. Then Why? they simply settle into their beach chairs and wait for the show. For the brave among you, it is certainly not one to be missed. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This image is an artist's recreation of what one of the most oh, I'm about to say that bet be real. used to look like hundreds of years ago. The hell? And now that we've seen this, we're sure you'll agree it's a lot better now that it's changed. It's said that there was a truly terrifying colossal hole in the seabed, one that, Ooh. if fallen into, would take you well below levels of pressure that the human body can withstand. Some people think this artist's recreation is true to the legends. Others think it's a touch extreme. What do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag possible. Odd Topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. And Anna Capii Beach. Advertised as the perfect destination for adrenaline junkies, Kauai has been the poster child for those looking for an adventurous vacation for decades. The beautiful island has plenty to offer the holiday maker looking for a relaxing vacation and is home to a number of fabulous beaches. Mm. But it might pay to be extra careful when it comes to one. Unlike most beaches on Kauai, there is one that has a deadly reputation for swimmers that dare to explore its depths. I'd be in tough weather. I'd be up to come in two miles, but it's worth it. I'll be sore this afternoon. Hanakapi'i Beach is approximately two miles from the start of the Kalalau Trail and is located on Kauai's Nepali coast. If you're planning to hike the Kalalau Trail, many will suggest you avoid swimming at the beach. It has no reef barrier to resist the powerful currents that hit the shore and can mercilessly drag even the most experienced swimmer out to sea. Oh, yeah, I'm cool. Off beach, the currents experienced at Hanakapi'i are so powerful that the bodies of at least at least 15 of its victims have disappeared, never to be seen again. In the summer, this- Why would you even want to go there? Like, I don't even want to look at the beach. I don't even want to look at that water right there. Y'all tripping, bro. Like, what's wrong with you? Some people just be wanting to die, don't they? Sandy shoreline appears a welcome in a rush. Sight, but don't be fooled. 
Panacapi Eye Beach is extremely dangerous. Things can quickly turn ugly if you don't heed the warning signs that can be seen all over the place. Number 13. Gonsbai, South Africa. Gonsbai, or Gons Bay, is a popular tourist destination in South Africa, but unfortunately, the tiny fishing town hides a dark secret. It is home to one of the country's most dangerous beaches. There are many beaches in South Africa that are considered dangerous Absolutely because not. of sharks, and this one located in the town of Gons Bay is no exception. In fact, it's possibly where the tale of danger began. The coastal stretch is commonly referred to as the Great White Shark Capital of the World. No, 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 it's big up. It's very small. Oh, guys, oh. When it comes to statements like this, they're often far from the truth. But this label is definitely deserved. For many years, the coastline has been bombarded by the most dangerous marine mammal on the planet. A popular habitat for the Great White, the waters in Gons Bay should be avoided at all costs. Caution Hell signs yeah. are all I was uh, in New York. I'm talking about like when well stuff wasn't really, you know, I went to New York. I ain't gonna say stuff was opened up like that, but people was in the beach, right? They was on the beach in the water, and this lady. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what color she was, because there wasn't no black people in that water. Uh, she got snatched up by a gray white. Got her ass. That shit crazy. Like, been ignored, and many inexperienced tourists and recreationists I ain't going have like been that. injured by these sharks. But they've also provided quite the attraction for shark divers. Safe and secure in special cages with metal rods on the sea floor, humans are protected from these huge ocean predators and can marvel at them when they're not doing that. Of becoming their next meal. It is no doubt an awesome sight and a bit of a moneymaker, but it also encourages great whites to the area, so it's possibly more trouble than it's worth. But I guess that fact depends on who you ask. Number 12, Skeleton Coast. If the rotting hulks of dead ships, both ancient and modern, aren't enough to put you off swimming in the waters in this part of the world, then maybe the name might. Known as the Skeleton Coast, it is located off Namibia in southwestern Africa and has become a popular resting place for many shipwrecks. Wrecked and abandoned, the mere sight of their bodies scattered along the shoreline and beyond has you wondering about the fate of those who were on board. Done. And their bones yeah. are brought up by the current and the oceans. deposited on the shore here. In the days before radio or airborne rescue, did they survive to tell the tale? Nah. Were they able to drag themselves ashore only to succumb to the heat of the endless desert before them? History no doubt holds this information, and how long these wrecks have been there is anyone's guess. But it's an intriguing sight. Several remains sit stuck in the sand, able to be investigated That's on foot. Crazy. Others can only be reached by water, with remains visible from a distance. There are also many that are almost entirely buried, and countless others that have no doubt succumbed to the sea altogether. It's a sad but equally impressive sight, proving that the ocean can never be underestimated. It's a dangerous place out there. Number 11. New Smyrna Beach. This place is famous for its warm climate, great surf, and shark attacks. And no, it's not Australia, it's Florida. New Smyrna Beach bears the sinister title of the shark attack capital of the world. And it's a title they're not proud of for obvious reasons. One of the most dangerous places to swim. See all them people out there still? People be feeling bad when the news come on and stuff like, oh my god! That way ain't supposed to even be in there anyway. On the planet, this beach is littered with sharks of all sizes, many enjoying the warm, shallow waters where beach dwellers would normally consider paddling to be a safe bet. So pretty. And it's so windy, sorry. But they'd be wrong especially if the shark attack records are anything to go by. Since they began recording attacks at New Smyrna Beach back in 1882, there has been over 240 separate incidents, and the number is rising. In fact, in 2008, 24 shark bites and attacks were recorded. It doesn't stop swimmers and surfers from returning to the water of the area, however, because not one of the attacks has been fatal. I don't know about you, but so you would not be prepared to take the risk. Surely there must be safer beaches out there. Number 10. Like that one little girl, she was like, oh, she got, I think, her, uh, her arm and her leg or whatever. And then she talking about she going back out there to go surf. That's crazy.
That's dedication. Fraser Island. Considered one of the most unique She might have been a fish in, in her last lifetime. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Fraser Island boasts sparkling lakes, lush rainforests, and endless beaches. It is also home to some of the most dangerous beaches in the world. Some are even considered deadly, as practically everything you are looking to avoid resides there. Rescue helicopters are known to frequent the area to save visitors, and it's a favorite hangout for young great whites. But it's not only sharks that cause problems to visitors of the island. Dingo attacks, too, rank high on the list. These feral dogs are native to Australia and can be extremely dangerous to humans. Both of the sharks... Now, nah, look, man, I put the paws on a uh, dingo, though. Like, I ain't scared of no dingo. Like, it is what it is. Like, you can get that work anytime. Pause. But the shark, I'm not messing with the shark. And these wild, undomesticated predators are known for their vicious bites. But they're also joined by the delightful, stinging jellyfish, too. There's no end to the dangers that plague humans here. Jellyfish include the irukandji and the blue bottle. Both have stings that will require immediate medical attention. Attention that cannot be found on the island. That seems a little ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> Couple that with the exceptionally rough and powerful riptides, and the water really isn't the delightful place it claims to be on a summer's afternoon. The sand dunes, too, can be destined for danger, with many having depths that are hard to measure. Many enthusiastic sand divers have been seriously injured over the years after misjudging their landings. If you're planning a visit, make sure you stay away from the risks this island poses, because there appears to be plenty of them. Number 9. Black Sand Beaches of Kilauea, Hawaii a volcanic eruption in 2018 destroyed 700 homes, leaving many families essentially homeless. But out of the destruction came awe-inspiring wonder. Having destroyed iconic destinations, the Ahalanui Hot Ponds and the Kapaho Tide Pools, the Kilauea eruption also added 1.3 square miles of new land to the Big Island. It also created new black sand beaches. Hey, that black sand hard though. Like I, I, I just want to go to the beach, put my feet in it real quick, and then leave before the volcano just blow up again. I'd be cool with that. Spectacular. This is fine. We'll put some of that black sand. Black sand. These the beaches bottom. are both rare and beautiful, but they're also very dangerous. Big Island is one of the few places on Earth where lava flows to meet the ocean. Once the two combine, the lava rapidly cools, fragmenting or exploding violently into pieces of lava cinder. These wow. fragments are broken by the ocean waves, and the result is fine black sand. Not only that, but because Mount Kilauea is one of the world's most active volcanoes and the beach sits next to it, the temperatures in the water can reach a whopping 110 degrees. And it's little wonder the water's so hot given that the volcano's been erupting continuously since 1983. It might pay to test the waters before taking a quick dip here. It could be way too hot to handle. That's crazy. Number 8. Playa Zipolite. Located in San Pedro Prejutla on the southern coast of Oaxaca State in Mexico, between Huadalco and Puerto Escondido, Playa Zipolite was Mexico's first and only legal public nude beach. But it's not all fun in this neck of the woods, as the beach has a bit of a reputation for the level of difficulty it shows its swimmers. Alright, look man, we gotta nip this in the bud. What is the point of going to a nude beach? And would you go to a nude beach with your partner? Honestly, I ain't going with my partner or nothing like that because I, I'm selfish. I don't want nobody else seeing what I got. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that's crazy to me, man. What is the fascination about these new beaches besides being a pervert? Hmm? Let me know. The currents at Zipolite reportedly travel in circular patterns, effectively drawing unsuspecting swimmers out to sea or pushing them towards the shore. Those that are pushed towards the beach by the current are the lucky few. But there are many who have been drawn so far away they find it a real struggle to return. To avoid the danger zone, either stick to the beach or enter the shallow water and figure out which way the current flows along the beach. Remain in shallow water until there is no more current and, once you're satisfied, head out for your swim. 
If you find Hell yourself no. being dragged out to sea, it can be almost impossible to return directly back to shore. Experts who have experienced the current suggest swimming parallel to the shore until you can make your way back in safely. If you're not a strong swimmer or tend to panic in a stressful situation, it might be best to sit this one out. Yeah, Number now you put seven. your ankles in the water. Beaches of the Amazon, South America. When it comes to the beaches of the Amazon, there are a host of dangerous creatures that are known to hang out on the shoreline and in the water, including piranhas, anacondas, and electric eels. There are also many- You got me with the anacondas, like, all right, uh, that's a ab <laughs> absolutely, I was gonna say something else not, but yeah, y'all get it, catch my Land drink. dwellers that need to be kept at arm's length, including bullet ants, the Brazilian wandering spider, rattlesnakes, jaguars, and the poison dart frog. Said jaguars? Make sure to check out the free preview to my guide, it's all linked down below in the five hot tips to Peru. And these are just some of the dangerous creatures that visitors may encounter on a trip to the beaches of the Amazon. I don't know about you, but this destination has suddenly dropped down my bucket list. The river is need to go to there ever. biodiversity and is well known for its super scary residents, particularly the sharp-toothed, red-bellied piranha and the green anaconda. Also called a water boa, this anaconda is the largest snake in the world and one of the heaviest on the planet. As you can see, there are certainly plenty of creatures that might pose a bit of an issue for those keen on a swim, but the area is also popular with gangs. Drug trafficking and robberies are quite common as the hundreds of small rivers give criminals several options to escape the long arm of the law. Number 6. Pink Tribulation, Australia Oh, you if know you have plans out for there. an overseas vacation, perhaps one that includes reading, relaxing, and best of all, surviving, it might be an idea to cross this destination off your list. <laughs> the land down under is home to some seriously dangerous creatures, and those who make Cape Tribulation their home are no exception. Situated in North Queensland, Australia, the area is known for its beautiful beaches and its dodgy plant and animal life. In fact, if you want to swim the waters of this aptly named destination... Like, going to Australia is kind of like visiting, like, Jurassic Park, you know? Like, they saltwater, uh, they alligators, crocodiles, whatever you need, be, they're huge. They are huge. Everything in Australia is bigger. Their wildlife is insane. It is suggested that you get yourself a stinger suit. The area is swarming with jellyfish, and if you're not protected, a sting from one of these guys can hurt. In the worst case scenarios, they can even be life threatening. Yeah. And if that's not enough to have you shaking in your boots, saltwater crocs are also prevalent in the area, it with locals know. advising visitors to stay away from swimming in the river mouth. But all is not what it seems outside the water either. There are other obstacles in the way, including large flightless birds with dagger-like claws and stinging trees. Yeah, you heard that right. Ah, These knock trees that bird can out. cause significant pain and distress with their jagged-edged leaves, and immediate medical attention is advised. Known for its beautiful beaches and stunning backdrop, Cape Tribulation has plenty of hidden secrets, and most you don't want to discover. Number five, Chow Patty Beach, Mumbai. Mumbai. This public beach in the Giragaon area of Mumbai, India has been labeled one of the world's most polluted. Considered unfit for swimming, Chow Patty Beach is essentially off limits. And they still in the water though. to any self-respecting human on the planet. I mean, there wouldn't be many who'd be keen to take their Crazy. lives into their hands and experience the sights and sounds of this ghastly waterway. About to dip our feet into this ocean, to this Arabian Sea right here. And it's not only the water that has an issue, even the beach is a no-go zone. The sand is littered with debris and scraps from salvaged ships. And gross. the waters are contaminated by huge amounts of waste dumped and disposed of by the residents of Mumbai City. 
The problem oh. isn't going away either. In fact, it's only getting worse, with the beach's waters becoming even more polluted since 2011 when the MV Rock sank and spilled 60,000 metric tons of coal into its murky depths. Wow. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency have warned anyone keen on swimming there that doing so may result in illnesses such as diarrhea, sore throats, or even more serious illnesses in children, the elderly, and people with with weakened immune systems. I don't know about you, but I don't need to be told twice not to bother swimming here. Hell no. Number four. Probably ain't got not a damn fish in that water, not nothing. You know something wrong. Northern Territory, Australia. Australia's gonna be in here a lot, man. The Northern Territory is a great place to enjoy a holiday, particularly if you're the adventurous type. Located in the north region of Australia, it is home to some of the world's most exquisite wildlife and some of the most dangerous. All the time. Fresh and saltwater crocodiles are native to the area, and they're enormous. The average male measures five meters long and can weigh in at a whopping 500 kilograms. Woo! That's half a ton. Females of the same species are significantly smaller, but why wouldn't be too keen to argue with them either? Extremely no. territorial, they are present in waterways, at beaches, in rivers and estuaries, and in water holes. And beaches, look, it was this uh, girl, she was on vacation, and two girls, one of them just survived cancer or whatever, and they was in the water, they are celebrating, and the fucking, I mean, the, 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 the alligator, crocodile, whatever you want to call it, grabbed her in Australia, grabbed her, saw where the croc grabbed her, and drug her into the ocean, and it... They uh, later found the woman's remains inside of the animal, you know, and they, you know, they killed the animal and everything, but yeah, it's crazy. They're that big. And often plan sneak attacks, striking victims when they least expect it. To ensure your safety, it is best to avoid feeding or playing with native animals and exercise caution when swimming, as crocs are very fast and travel with speed on land as well as in the water. Observe all warning signs and, if in doubt, do not swim and avoid the water's edge. You don't want to end your dream holiday in the jaws of a croc. Nah. Number three. Freya do Norte, Nazare, Portugal. If you're looking for a place to surf, particularly one that provides the ultimate challenge, this beach in Portugal could be just the Damn, ticket. look at that wave, though. though. Only the most experienced surfers will succeed. Praia do Norte is situated in Nazaré, a traditional fishing village and one of the oldest and most popular Ooh. holiday resorts on Portugal's Atlantic coast. When summer arrives, holidaying Portuguese families flock to the beaches, with most just keen to soak up the sunshine. Others are there to catch some freakish waves. These enormous waves are created by a deep oceanic trench pointing from deep water straight to the seaside. That's down. crazy. Olha só, que diferença. Muito legal, gente. And the result is awe inspiring. The already huge Atlantic swells are funneled straight to the town's north beach, Praia do Norte, with the biggest measuring over 30 meters high. It's no surprise that waves wow. these sizes are potentially fatal for even the most experienced surfer. So average beachgoers are warned to beware. Boaties and jet skiers too have come unstuck under the powerful waves. And although they're not always bigger than your average house, they are often large enough to cause problems, making them a danger to all but the most advanced surfers. Number two. That's amazing to me that people like find that to be like, oh my gosh, this is just like so fun. This big ass wave with all these sharks and gators and stuff in the water. You know, I just, just enjoying my time because I don't like my legs Union or my Island. life. When you hear the word beach, you think summer tan, relaxation, breathtaking scenery, and good times. You don't think danger and death. Situated in the middle of the warm Indian Ocean is Reunion Island, an island that enjoys a balmy climate and sun-drenched beaches. It is home to fewer than a million people, but come summer, it becomes a popular destination for tourists from right around the globe. Unfortunately, since 2011, Reunion has hit the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Creatures that lurk below the waves have thrown this tiny island into crisis. 
It measures just 40 miles long, but 13% of the world's fatal shark attacks have happened off its coastline. During the same time frame, there have only been three shark attacks off the coast of South Africa, another place popular with sharks. Since 2011, an abnormally large amount of sharks have inhabited the waters around Reunion, with 20 people attacked and 7 killed. The situation got so bad that in 2013, all open water swimming and surfing in Reunion was banned. So if you enter the wow. water here, it is at your peril. If you're not arrested, you might just be bitten, or worse still, eaten. Number 1. Copacabana Beach, Brazil There are many reasons why beaches might be dangerous places. Most include a shark or two, or perhaps the odd swell, riptide, wave, or strong current. But this legendary Brazilian beach is considered dangerous for another reason. It's a popular hotspot for the light-fingered types. Yeah, that's right. If you're planning a trip to Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro, you better lock up your valuables. Oh, yeah, they steal your stuff. It is considered one of the most dangerous beaches in the world because these thieves will stop at nothing to guarantee their daily haul. Apparently quite brazen, they will snatch almost anything that is left unattended, even your clothing and towels. Imagine having to skip home from a day at the beach with just your bathing suit for company. You'd have to hope the weather hadn't turned nasty, particularly if your car keys had disappeared as well. The beach measures about 4,000 meters, so there are countless opportunities for thieves. And with drugs and prostitution on the increase, numerous crooks are now unfortunately one of the more distinctive features of the popular Brazilian beach. Make sure you take very few valuables, don't swim alone, and try not to engage in conversations with anyone you don't know. In fact, it's probably a good idea to put the old stranger danger mantra from your childhood into practice. When you decide to spend time at the beach over the summer months, it pays to be prepared. If you're looking at swimming, it's a good idea if you know how. And if you have little children in tow, they should be kept an eye on. But there are a number of other things that need to be considered dangerous. And we're not talking about the blazing sun. Think sharks, ocean rips, and jellyfish. Sure is a scary world out there. Also, check out our other cool stuff. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Look, man. Let me know how you like this video right here. Uh, I say, look, man. Australia... You got it. That Brazil stuff, like, ah, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever. There's thieves and everything everywhere, but um, I I'm cool with the ocean. Y'all let me know what y'all want to see next, and I'll be sure to do that. Follow my social media right here if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. And I'm out, though. Blah. Different.